afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Stock Market Today on Monday, August 5th, sponsored by Interactive Brokers. On the show today, we're going to be looking at a pretty ugly market, uh, the China Web Internet ETF. We'll also be looking at Zscaler and Chipotle Mexican Grill. But first, let's take a look at the major market indexes. So, Ed, it was a pretty ugly day today. It's Justin Nielsen along with Ed Carson here, and um, we... Uh, kind of had a, a rough day. The S&P 500 uh, looks like it closed down about 3%. The NASDAQ composite down about 3.5%. Dow Jones Industrial Average down about 2.9%. Um, off its lows, uh, all the indexes, but still a pretty ugly day. Yeah, pretty ugly. We've had a number of selling. This is the sixth straight loss for the S&P and NASDAQ, but this is by far the worst. Plunging through the 50-day line. And it really sort of feels like, you know, when you have days when the market hits the down on the elevator button. <laughs> it's bad enough when you're going fast on the, on the escalator, but when you go right down, it's like the Tower of Terror. You know, it's <laughs> right. like it's, this was not much fun. And yeah, there's a little bit of a bounce, but not much. Leading stocks, hard hit. You know, really, you could throw a dart on the board. It was probably red. Okay. So now let's talk a little bit about what what caused this? You know, so we've been talking a lot about the trade war going back and forth, how they've been kicking the can down the road a little bit. Things have kind of changed in terms of the tone. Yeah, last night, China, uh, the central bank, you know, basically reset, the, devalued the yuan, and the yuan then fell further from that to lowest since 11 years or record low, depending on how you measure it. Really, that, you know, as a currency devaluation, it's it, having a global trade war, the risk of that is just a new level that mm -hmm. we could have. I mean, China says, oh, no, we don't want to do that, but. This is, you know, clearly we're not going to see the tariffs be delayed. Right. You know, there was still that whole... There's that September 1st deadline. Yeah. And it's been getting kicked around a little bit, but this kind of makes it seem like... You know, and we have to worry about there's a global recession risk. Right. I mean, Europe's in trouble. A lot of these countries are not doing very well. So even though U.S., the growth is okay, there's some real trouble. The Treasury yield fell like 12 basis points a day right. after some big losses before. But basically, the Treasury yield is lowest since the Trump became president. So mm -hmm. really sharp losses. Yeah, it looks like I think it was the lowest since like uh, November 2016, if I'm yeah. uh, not mistaken. So uh, yeah, definitely a lot of hard hit stocks uh, as well. Tech, of course, getting the brunt of that. A lot of Chinese names. Um, let's go ahead and start with uh, Crane China Internet uh, web ETF. So this kind of shows you a little bit about what's been happening in the Chinese economy. It's been in a major downtrend. Um, what do you see happening on this ETF right now? Well, in Crane Shares, which owns a lot of things like Alibaba, Tencent, Baidu, I mean, it's mostly stocks that are U.S. listed as, you know, um, and well, Tencent is over the counter, but it's been really weak. It's the lowest level since, you know, since the late, late 2018. But the relative strength line is actually at a record low, going all the way back, you know, ever since Crane Shares started this ETF. Really a negative action here. There's just concerns that the Chinese economy is in trouble. There's just a lot of worrisome signs. I mean, it's still growing. It's still growing a lot more in the U.S. Mm -hmm. But in an economy that's used to growing 7, 8, 9 percent, it's been slipping to 6 percent. Some people think it's probably likely growing really a lot less than that. It's just a negative sign going forward. You know, it, it, China has been the growth engine of the world. <laughs> It's a little sputtering here. You take that away, and what, what, what are you left yeah, with? Yeah, Europe's basically head in recession, and we're just basically just sort of trending along around 2%. Mm -hmm. not, not a great environment for and, stocks. And this chart is a weekly chart, and it kind of shows how this was kind of coming up to the 40-week, which uh, coincides with the 200-day moving average, and the 50-day, which uh, the 10-week, which coincides with the 50-day. And it looks like it just hit resistance at those levels and came right back down. And that's kind of what we saw in the overall Chinese market as well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so let's go ahead and move on. And uh, Zscaler, okay, so there's a lot of the leading stocks, of course, you know, and if you were looking for, hey, this was leading before, maybe it will lead again. Uh, Zscaler kind of shows you that leading stocks tend to get hit the hardest a lot of times. Yeah, Zscaler actually was probably one of the better performers out of the growth stocks. So some of the growth stocks like ServiceNow and other mm -hmm. ones, they got hammered earlier. But Zscaler is a cybersecurity name. It's not really exposed to China particularly, and yet it just shows you, yes, that there is no safe haven, and as you say, growth stocks, while they outperform in good times, they can often be hard hit, they have high valuations, they come down pretty sharply, all of a sudden that greed fear dynamic changes overnight, and all of a mm -hmm. sudden you start worrying, hey, this is really a high price stock, I know we often don't look at that so much, but the market does, and in downtrends, this daily comes in, plunging through its 50-day line, 50 line, plunging through uh, buy points, just not good action. Yeah. So, um, yeah, again, a lot of these hard hit. Uh, Zscaler was down, looks like about 6.4% today. Um, the, the ETF that we were looking at, KWeb, that was down, you know, 5.5%, 5 5.6%, 5 you know, so again, a little bit harder hit. So 
Z-scale are not as bad, but still pretty bad. Yeah, still pretty bad. <laughs> now, not uh, another one that was kind of holding up a little bit better is Chipotle Mexican Grill. Now, this is a name that's on leaderboard. Uh, it's one that we've been talking about a lot. We actually picked this up as an option play uh, around earnings, and we've had it on before. But this was only down 1.5%. What, what makes Chipotle a little bit different? Well, obviously, there's probably not too much, you know, concern about trade tariffs. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, with with Chipotle and a lot of restaurant stocks held up reasonably well today. You know, McDonald's, uh, you know, Yum Brands, you know, uh, um, restaurant brands which owns Burger King. So there was some good action in that situation. Chipotle's actually technically come back into buy range, though. Mm -hmm. In this kind of environment, you shouldn't be really thinking along those lines. But you know, if you look at that, you know, that blue, like sort of that dark blue line there, that's a relative strength line, that actually hit a record high or at least a multi-year high today because falling 1.5% looks pretty good on a day when, <laughs> when, when the major average is... you're down 3% and everything but, else, yeah. But the thing is, you're still down 1.5%. Yeah. I mean, you know, you don't, yes, I mean, relative strength is nice, but you're absolutely losing if you own the stock versus, you know, the prior day. So, you, you know, there's not a time to be buying right. even a stock like Chipotle, which is showing real strength. And, and we'd already gone to uptrend under pressure last week, and so, you know, it, it, you got to keep that in mind. You know, we were already kind of at the caution phase. Um, we're going to definitely talk a lot more in the big picture today about, you know, what this means for today's action, what the volume looked like, and, you know, where we go from here. So uh, definitely make sure you tune in to the big picture uh, on Investors.com today to really get the details on what's going on with this market. Mm -hmm. Uh, that'll be it for us today. A uh, few things that you should know about. Uh, Allie will be back tomorrow. Uh, today she's actually working. She was n working at the NASDAQ for a new show that we have launching uh, investing strategies at NASDAQ. And you can access that with investors.com slash investing strategies. Uh, this is going to be the first episode. So we're really excited to see uh, what Allie did today and uh, what, what she pushed out. So uh, that'll be very very useful information for our, our viewers. Um, also, don't forget that we are on social media, so if you haven't signed up, uh, please do so. We're on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter. Uh, so any of those, you can access some of the reporters, uh, some of our videos, a lot of, ac uh, a lot of action that we have going on uh, on a daily basis on our social media. So that'll do it for us today. We will see you back here tomorrow. Thanks for watching.